Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R30, size 14, dry fly hook. I've got Shea 40 knot grey. This is a Mayfly cripple or stillborn. So we just attach our tying thread here, and go a wee ways back, remove that. I need a few strands of Coq de Lyon which I'll just secure with a couple of turns check the length spin my tying thread to flatten it want to go back to there that's good then I'll remove these Flatten my thread, make a couple of more turns there, and I've got the tip of a wood duck. I just want a tiny bit of this in. So what we can do here, just secure it on top with a couple of loose-ish turns, and then we can just pull it through to the length we want. That's nice, and then I can tighten up and go up over the hook shank. That's good. And then we'll remove the remainder of the wood duck. That's perfect. That'll do me very nicely. I just want to get ever such a slight thickening taper on the underbody oh, nice there I've got three moose hairs one dyed olive, moose mane one dyed, uh, one bleached and one white, natural white now we line up the butt ends of these, this is important and we go forward to the tips and what we can do is find the shortest tip and trim them all off to the same length. So we keep these together I want to tie these in so they're all touching, also important. Just go forward first to give that body a little bit more taper. Like so, and then we go back my thread flat profile again. I want to go back to the very base of the wood duck. That's good. And I can go back up again and just get my tying thread out of the way. I'll take all three hairs and We'll wrap these parallel. Important you keep them parallel that they don't cross over each other. And of course you can use whatever colours or colour combinations you want of moose hair to match your hatch. I find this is a very good all round combination it goes a little darker when it gets wet we go up to there and I can come back a couple of turns tie off just secure them and I can come in remove those Put a little foundation down for the thorax. That's looking excellent, that's looking good. Then I need a little bunch of Comparadon deer hair. 
This is my new Nano hair stacker for wings and tails from, that I've made in collaboration with 54 Dean Street. Uh, we want to remove that wing this way. We just take the end off. Now the wing wants to be a little longer than the hook shank length. So I want to go forward here. This wants to be tied in at the front. I'll just flatten my tying thread. And then I can go back. Don't let go. Of the bunch in your left hand because this we're going to want to trim off. Make sure you don't get your tail here. Oops, I blew that. I can manage. work my way forward don't worry if you trap a few and you don't want to tap this down really tight because this will help with the flotation super and I've got a tiny bit of rusty brown SLF squirrel blend what I want to do with this is just wind my thread you see I haven't taken the all the way back. I want to go forward with this. I go back just over the thorax with that rusty. That's good. We're going to fix that later a little more. I've got a dyed olive grizzle hackle which will tie in at the very back. Now I like this grizzle hackle to be a little bit longer than normal for the size of the hook. So we just go tie that grizzle hackle butt end down like so and we can trim that off. There we are. Now what I want to do is I'll turn it upside down. Tiny little bit more dubbing of which I want to wrap much tighter this time. Slide that up. Good. We take our hackle. Oh, 
wind this through the thorax. Like so. I'll go up and over. Behind it and then in front. A couple of turns to lock it off, then we'll lift the whole thing. Just press it back. little bit of wax and what I do here is I put a stopper in tight into the deer hair wing to hold it up and we can take our whip finisher tighten it up Give it one more. Excellent. I'll come in and remove my tying thread. Come in and remove the hackle. Like so, and things looking good, looking good. Now depending on how you wish to fish this, if you leave the full hackle on, uh, it will float more or less perpendicularly. Uh, but what you can do, which I, what I like to do, is I like to trim the hackle off on the underside, like so. So it sits and falls a little deeper in the surface and that's it, that's the finished cripple or stillborn. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.